We've got women's group, which is a very, very interesting group where people feel um, they can open up. But again, there is lots of shame and guilt for someone to come to say, for example, I've neglected my child. It's a big thing for a woman to admit that and say it in a group because she says, what well, are the others? How they're going to judge me? If there have been in a dangerous situation, for example, they went in a flat, taking some drugs and um, they blacked out and something happened to them. They've been, you know, sexually abused or, uh, you know, they tend to blame themselves because they've been drunk, you know, and so they're very hard and they don't say it in the group because they think it's their fault because they're drunk and they became in that situation. So of course that's where the guilt and shame. And the guilt and shame too that they've not been good daughters, for example, to their parents, um, work-related problems. And when they start having a relationship with themselves and accept who they are and forgive themselves in a way, and hopefully they forgive other people who had hurt them, and then you know they make the amends. I think that's the process. Some people will feel ashamed more than others. There's no right or wrong in a way, it's how they are at that moment. And in, in ex I th what I think is the beauty of it for me is when they start identifying with each other, I'm not alone, you've done the same thing as me, and that really gives them hope that I'm okay, I'm not a bad person, I've done something wrong, I can move on now. So. I think that that's the beauty of it, that they're not on their own. There is lots of identification from other people where they've done the same.